Beautiful. Welcome back for the conclusion, question mark, of the Curse of Lich Uh We find our players still in their dreamy nightmare horror escape. Uh, they have just completed their second long night's rest here in the mansion of strange and spookiness. Um, previously, we saw them transported uh, with an accidental pact made potentially by the NPC based on me. Who knows? Could be anybody's fault. Uh, where they For went sure. to sleep and woke themselves up in a, in a mystical dream world that seemed oddly like the D&D games our, our players played together. Uh, after starting with nothing and working their way up to something, we have some moderately armored and weaponed uh, characters uh, trying to figure out how to get home. So we come back in, waking up, sleepy times. Uh, we have some uh, couches that had been dragged into this bedroom and then we barricaded ourselves there too to try and make sure dead things stay dead and nothing else comes in. Um, as you wake up, players, you find the light hasn't changed once again, much like the last time you guys took a long rest. It's still dark and dreary. Um, if you were to try and look out one of the boarded windows, you would see it's still eternal night. I distinctly remember requesting that I not be here when I woke up and I'm disappointed that, that didn't work out. Yeah, I've got to say, it's the first time I've ever fallen asleep in a dream and woken up still in the same dream. Also, yeah. my back hurts because this couch was horrible. That's why I took the like bed, a, me and Elena. Spring, little spring in your back, mm. Chris, just like digging in all night. Couldn't quite Maxie and I are drooling on the couch together, like still asleep. Bro, just wake up. up. But, uh, uh, what? Oh, man, we're still here? We're, stir we're still in a literal nightmare, yes. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's all right. Like, I, I'm always down to make more armor. Y'all are now. insane. Dax is I a mean, bleep dog now. That's cool. I legitimately thought, like, this would be cool. And we've come close to dying. How many? I'm not, I don't like that. Yeah, until the like, ghost girl and the zombies, I was pretty on board. And the black pudding was kind of a back step, too. I don't know if we're in real danger, though. That black pudding fucking hurt, by the way. I got acided. And my hand has this really nice scar tissue on it that I'm hoping it's not super permanent. Sounds like, like real it's danger to me. It's all up my arm. And I, I'm not here I, for that. the permanent danger thing. I would really like to go home. So if we can have to figure yeah. out how to get out, or maybe, if, like, Aaron Aaron got out. I'm just he saying. He up, and he got out. All I'm saying is we could, we could have fun along the way. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not having fun. Like, I've got... At this shitty real spear, but I got my brother here. Chris and I never hang out. I R D in 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 DL. In, in not in, not in Dream World. Yeah, usually when we hang out, there aren't spells involved. I mean, usually? dude, can you can you honestly complain about the spells as someone who oh, doesn't cool. have spells? No, but if we I'm get out of this and I don't have them anymore, I'm gonna be pretty let down. It's almost like a tease. Yeah, that would be badass if family reunions to show some show some clicks off. Hey, look what we learned. I mean, I'm just doing the same like thing that. I did before. Just using a spear and having some real good armor. Like the teapot thing is fucking sweet. I would always have tea on tap. <laughs> yeah, we'll also, see. I mean the book armor you gave Bo? Really fucking cool. Also, yeah, I mean I'm out. it's not my best work, it's a little shoddy. I'd remake it a little better, but it's I mean, cool that I whipped that shit out. You did it in like an hour and a half. Like I mean, it's yeah, you know, it's fair. It's all right work for me, you know. Speaking of books, I think we got to be careful about everything, including like obviously inanimate objects, like suits of armor and rugs. Yeah, yeah. We did get fucked up by that rug. I almost died by the rug. Like, be more careful. In yeah. case this is for real, because we woke up still in the dream and it hurts, and we get hurt. So, Elena, you I, said it's your fault, right? Are we gonna die in here? I, 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 I said, I said that you we know, agreed it was Elena's fault. And okay, if I die yeah. by rug, someone write it on my gravestone. Elena killed me with a rug. Yeah, for real. I mean, oh my! Fair. I just 
had a conversation with an ex, like a, a weird voice, a weird voice know? in your dream. And then a I woke up here, voice? and then you were here, so it's like I don't, I don't know. But wait, what happened? A voice spoke to you? Well, yeah, it was like a voice it asked if I wanted my greatest wish, and I guess this was my greatest wish. I just didn't which expect it. side note. So, not the best wish. Um, I've got to say. I to mean, go to I, a nightmare house? Am I not the only I mean, one who wishes for like just a solid, cold, hard cash of a million dollars from like a random billionaire oh, no, nice. who wouldn't notice? That would be nice. <laughs> I could use a, a good night's nice sleep. My like a good solid night's nice sleep. Like that would be a wish. No, no, no. But money can pay for me to not give a fuck and have a solid night's nice sleep. So. <laughs> I don't know about, I don't know I about murder, it, murder uh, house though. Murder I don't, house I, doesn't well, seem... I don't mean murder house wasn't really the the wish. It was like how cool would it be to wake up in D and D. Like I've always wanted to know what it would be like, and then now I'm here and I don't I don't like it. I don't I got, I got, before we go further, like I draw the line at straight up murder hobo. Like I I do not murder people. Well, I think that should be a given. I yeah, assume, I, like, if we're in the evil us, shit you know, now. I gotta specify this shit. But if it's trying to kill us, right? Then we lawful we don't neutral. Run. I mean, yeah. no, no, lawful good. Yeah. I'm sorry, wrong one. Oh, definitely. I'm, I'm glad to hear that because you were trying to eat us earlier. No, that was me. I mean, what, if it comes <laughs> down to it, I'm totally down to eat people. It was like an hour into the game. No. We weren't even I, hungry. It's I, disturbing. Like you're not wrong. Like I'm kind of not hungry, which in itself is weird. So I want to find food. I just but think I, it's funny that the first person who's going to get eaten was the first to bring up eating people. I disagree. That was a horrible idea. <laughs> that. I'm 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 I feel like it hurt you emotionally. Okay. So just because you're know. number three on the list doesn't mean I think less of you. I just think <laughs> you're not as tasty as Bo would be. Well, I'm like gristle and. <laughs> okay, but guys, like fucking I'm fat. still not hungry. I think I always want to eat because that's. Like, yeah, not. me neither. This is weird. Stuff hurts. We woke up, went to sleep. This is crazy. And okay. then Elena, so you don't know anything else. The voice, you don't know who voice. the voice was? I mean, have I you tried I... meditating on the voice? Yeah, I'll do it again. Th thought about it and try to connect with it. I don't know if I want to. What if it's... Have you offered it cookies? Well, it put us here, so it's too I late to really pie. like. I mean, back I, don't, out now. I, don't, I don't have. Maybe it could at least let us know how to get out. It'd be a shame if it put you here with no back door, you know? Maybe. Maybe you can Maybe try to talk to it. I mean, I know, I, right? I could That's try. That's what she said. I could try. Hey. Okay. Why don't you try? Let's all, uh, let's, let's all take, uh, I want to say ready to actions, but let's prepare for when she tries to talk yeah. to this thing, the worst happening. Right, do you want us to like shake just, you out if, if, if something happens, if you stop breathing, or like what did we- Literally uh, just woke up, guys. Are we having like a quick 15 minute break after we just woke up? I mean, He's why gonna try to talk to happening? Well, why don't, we, like, why don't we like try and get out of this, like, we still have a room we haven't looked at. Like, why don't we make sure there's nothing in it and make sure there's nothing left in this house that might kill us, and then I'll try. There's the basement, and you know that's where the shit sure. is. I mean, I'm down, I'm just saying we can find somebody that knows more than us. And, and and the put us here seems like that would be the best of that. I mean, yeah, that's all, that's all very good points. But rather than just wandering around aimlessly with no information? Well, I mean, we have some information. It's worked so far. We know that, we know that I mean, apparently uh, Sad Sally and, and Mrs. Lickfaust didn't like her dad slash husband. Yeah. An evil bad man. We had we found that letter from the well, local, surreal. The local Something fairies. about zombies. No, it, uh, it, was, it didn't say zombies. It said that the, that Luke Faust was doing experiments on prisoners. And on that, prisoners. Did we just that, fight zombies? We did. We well, killed them. Yeah. 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 Those, yeah. Those were zombies. So pretty safe bet. That's what's happening around these parts. All right. Well, later on, you should probably try to talk to that demon that you. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know if it's a demon. It well, you're a warlock demon. now. I mean, you did Elder's Blast, so we. I mean, you let's did. Not, you're straight up a warlock. Demon, so, and a horror, Satan himself, one of those things. I mean, no. Don't beat around the bush. <laughs> to, be, to make it completely worse, it could be a fae, and then you're completely fucked. Just, yeah, definitely. Somebody that likes to fuck you up. I mean, look where we are. This isn't a nice place. Yeah, I don't like any of this. Okay. Uh, let's just go to the next room. Um, let's just move this. With it, I guess. I mean, that's fine. Whatever y'all want. I'll, I'll go out front. Y'all want to scout ahead? Oh, you might get any way to scout this room safely? 
I mean, my eyes. The, the door. <laughs> Safely. <laughs> Keyword. Uh, I mean, Someone I, gonna. I can do detect magic. I don't know. That's how fair. It's gonna do. I just don't want to walk up in this room blind. Okay. Uh, I'll. I'll also uh, go ahead and see if I can use divine sense and detect uh, any kind of evil presence. Okay, sixty feet. Not necessarily in the house. You you sense there are s outside of the house, maybe yes, but not necessarily in the house at this moment. Um, that within 60 feet um and then i don't i don't get any pings um with that 30 feet except the items that we, we already found and are wearing um by the way as a as a reminder who who took the mithril armor that um we found in this room was that chris yeah i got a ring mail okay i don't know about though from this room oh, out of character real quick what what level are we Three? Okay. I somehow gained an extra level. Uh-oh. But I can fix that. I was messing with my spells earlier, and I noticed that I was level four, but I wasn't sure what level we were. Not level four yet. Three. I'm level, level 20. three. I'm level 20. 20. I'm actually level 20, guys. That'll be helpful. Paper right. towels, you need to get rid of those. So, as you guys slowly start to make your way out of the room, you're back in this hallway looking down over the foyer still creepy still night still a dilapidated mansion dust everywhere um you can see your footprints from the day before or the time before you're not really sure when you go to sleep what happens um but it doesn't seem like time is passing but you're still getting the benefits of this full night rest it's it's, it's confusing um so as you move slowly, uh, you're, you're, you're making your way around in the U shape towards the other side of this hallway. The, 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 wooden, the wooden interior walls and the stone exterior walls, strange, strange contrast. Um, who is leading the fold into this next room? Say that you let uh, Jay and I are out front. Okay. Yeah. There's Gax. I guess uh, Chris and I will follow up in the rear if with Bo in the middle. Yes, I'll take up the the rear. X is on my heels. All right. So this last room you slowly come into is is deep and rich, and it looks like it was in fact the master bedroom. Um, wood paneling, wallpaper. It's it's beautiful in its dusty elegance. Um, Looking around, you do see there is a, a, another door that's open that seems to lead into like a sitting room slash bathroom area. Um, you can see the slightest, barest glimpse of a wardrobe in the other room. Um, but otherwise, uh, nothing in this room specifically looks too terribly interesting. I would like to investigate the wardrobe. I read a book once. You read a book once? <laughs> The lions right. and witches in it. I'll investigate generally the area. Okay. Yeah, I wanna. Can I just do like a raw perception? Just a straight, how's it going? Okay, I like it. Yeah, how do you do? With that perception, Jade, you feel a strange burst of wind at the back of your neck. And as you feel this, you do a sharp turn, and the door into the room has slammed shut, sealing all of us inside. I need everyone to roll initiative. I feel like we're. Just, I feel like I'm rolling initiative. <laughs> Can we say I feel that wind, and I like brace and ready in action to attack something? Uh, with that perception, I will say yes. So I, I like to imagine we all walked in a room and then we froze, realized something was up, and now we're all looking at each other for who's going to act first. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is happening? All right, who got the highest perception roll? <laughs> I mean, who saw some shit like the door just wound itself closed and that ain't right, and we all know that ain't right. Roll initiative. 
I say in, in character. So what do we think? Are we got a mimic bed? What do we think is going on here, y'all? Stab the bed, right? Or this carpet? Okay. Damn it. Everything. A, Shit. A mimic bed is a nightmarish thought that is going to yeah, get written right? down after this session. I mean, fuck this carpet. <laughs> yeah, the carpet. It doesn't look, so now we're just going to be paranoid about literally everything. Cool. I like it. I like it. Everything so, can kill you. It's pod people all over again. What Even worse. See. Uh, Jade, you, you do feel like you have a, a, a re reaction attack that you can use based on this. Not a full surprise round, but the reaction attack uh, okay. before we start with the initiative round. What this looks like is it looks strange. It, it looks like a, a swirling mass of air that's hard to see through is blocking your way out of this room. It is in front of this door. Um, Bo, you probably would be closer towards this back. I'm going to move you slightly on the map so you kind of see. You're going to be back towards there. Um, otherwise, that's about where everybody is uh, as they've come into this room. Um, if you would like to try and figure out what you're facing, I need you to try and make me an either arcana or a nature check. Any, anyone can do that? Anyone can do that. And then if you roll high enough on your turn, you may use your free action to try and tell the group what it is you found. Looks like it's going to be Corey who knows something. Um, do I get a reaction attack on it? You do get a reaction attack on it, yes. Does my teapot get a reaction attack on it as well? No, just you. I hit. Maybe. You do. You do hit whatever this air thing is in front of you with your spear. My um, spear is considered magical as well because I is? did stuff to it. Okay, that's right. That's right. You did. Okay, roll your damage. Is, Gags is, should be getting separate rolls, I just realized. And he's yes. got advantage on perception. So All right. Can I do it him? Um, well, we'll yes. do it next time if you want. Uh, no, you can go ahead and roll perception for him. Um, uh, I'm not sure. He's got plus three. Because smell, no, but hearing, yeah, I'll give it, I'll give it that for here. 21 for him. Okay. Gax knows what this is uh, instinctively, but he can't tell you because he's a dog. <laughs> so what do you attack it like they did though? Uh, but yeah, I mean, yeah, you can roll him a you can roll him a, a spot in the initiative order. And so if he knows it's dangerous, right? It does yes. he sense? Does he knows it's dangerous? So he'll bite at it. Well, not yet. He has to roll initiative. Oh. Not yet. He doesn't. Doesn't he just attack on your initiative? I was saying like when we kind of walked in, but um, yeah, he's on my initiative, right? Yes. All right. Okay, so five piercing. All right, beautiful. Um, you feel this this spear in your hand. It goes in, and what strangely shouldn't have actually done any damage because of the uh, influences and the uh, attunements you've done to this spear that you've makeshift created. You actually feel it press into this wind, and instead of just gaping out, it back it back in and you pull it out and it feels like you've actually done something. Did it feel like I punched a balloon? Kinda, yeah, actually. That's almost exactly how it feels. Can I um, yell out, um, only use magic stuff against this thing? I will allow it, yes. It, it don't feel like normal stuff should do a thing to it. Bo, don't do use no normal stuff is what she yells out. Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bo, you feel like you uh, like you have a chance to uh, make an attack or do whatever you so desire. Okay, let's see. I'm right there. I can. It. So I'm gonna talk at it. Tell it it's ugly and it smells bad. And leave it. What? And you know, just 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 assault it verbally. Oh, that is that is unfortunate. Oh my goodness, what's gonna happen with the 
It doesn't feel like it did anything, but you know, you told it good. Like you gave it a talking <laughs> to. It was you yeah, talking to air, to but it. showed it who was boss. It, it's, it's ugly, smelly air, though. <laughs> you have a bonus action. Would you like to use it? Like a big old uh, no, everyone's in between me and it, so I feel fine. <laughs> no, that's honestly a Solid. fair statement. <laughs> Corey, I mean, you feel like you, you and and Gax have a chance to act. So Gax is gonna go ahead and buy that. You can take my roll from earlier. It's just a seven. Okay, that is he's gonna nip at air, but unfortunately, it is not the air that is currently being taken by this creature. And hearing Jade say you need to use a magical weapon and looking down at my sword and thinking back to my youth i give chris a wink and i lift this sucker over my head and i say by the power of grace go and my uh sword lights up <sighs> as sacred weapon and, and i say hey man like i said might as well have some fun huh and then <laughs> and, and now i'm standing here with the sword but then like i can't really do anything so I just kind of like shrug. That was the nerdy shit. No, no, bro, and we are bro, keep the helm above your head. Game. Give me, give me four seconds. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Everybody, hold on. Wait a second. You gotta not, not, don't attack me either while I'm doing this. It's a part of the thing. Okay. And then I point it at Gax and I'm like, battle, battle dog, let's do this. And then, and then I'm just trying to make Chris laugh at this point. I so that. I, uh, um, that's about it for my turn because that was my action. Okay. And I just posed for my bonus action. All right, diggity, diggity, Jade. Is it distracted by the weirdness? Do I get advantage? Oh, <laughs> I could be advantage. distracting you. Um, you know what? Let me let me give it a. Like give straight it up. Can I do a performance? Can I do a performance to see how? I, I'll I'll let you do a doing performance. Some weird screaming. Yeah. I want to really, I want to really put my, I mean, I watched this so much as a kid. 14 is not bad. You know, it, it rolled a nat one on its, its uh, perception. So I'm going to say, yeah, sure. Jay, you get advantage on your next hit. Cause it's distracted. It's just, it's like full focus, like looking at, at my shirt right off. <laughs> like here it is. It is hard focused on you, this. You like, like you like rip your shirt off to do it, and I'm just like, what the fuck? Wait, I'm wait, yeah. Man, you never wore a shirt. <laughs> you weren't wearing a shirt. You were just. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> never mind. From, from underneath the armor. <laughs> I put in, yeah, my like. Wait, I had the shirt, not pants. That's right. I'm just like, this is some pure theatrics bullshit, and then I somehow like whip out some crazy spear move like i flip it around i'm like i will not be outdone on drama <laughs> now chris knows it is really me that's because i it. actually <laughs> do sure. I, I i didn't even do it at advantage i could have and i still just fucked this guy oh, up just roll it again just in case to see if you get in that 20. in case you get a 20 twin twin you did but it's okay damn you rolling good I, I, yeah that's making me sad Girl, um oh ooh, i like it and, and I'm gonna bring my little teapot because they're a little teapot. And they're a construct thing. Does that count as magic? Maybe, I don't know, we'll find out. It's okay if it's not. Is the, can you post your construct information in the page, let me see. Mm. May later rend it all. Oh, you clever, clever people. That's all of it. Okay. Um, Badass idea for a construct. I love it. I love it. No, it's great. Every time I say its name, I just start singing, I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle. Here is what's fine. All right. It does not state that it counts as magic. Okay, that's totally fair. It is a construct. So while the teapot does find a way to like scramble at the air, um, as you're watching Jade, you aren't getting that same feeling of, a, of like a, a bending balloon that you got with the sphere. Okay. You're not Come seeing on. that. You're kind of just seeing its little claws grasp at it, but nothing's really happening. It looks super adorable though. It's like that adorable. crab, like that crab oh. with a knife. Oh, it's so cute. It is 
so wonderful. So good, so good. Um, and as you watch your little teapot, you turn and see this creature, this stalker, as it were. Uh, turn, I'm about to get fucked up, that's fair. Turn to Cory, because it is entranced with whatever he's doing. I mean, and it sure. is going to turn Does anybody have a loincloth? To slam attack at Cory. I can uh, make one. Does a 21 hit? Me. Does a 21 hit? I don't know. Maybe it might actually not hit, honestly, because I might have to. Since I'm doing a whole theatrical situation here, if I do a plus, no, it's gonna hit either way. All right. Yeah, you it is. You take nine bludgeoning damage. Ooh. No. Ow. And okay, a second, cool. the second attack comes and does a seventeen hit. Yes. You take what? Seriously? Two nat ones? Five damage. Man, I mean, I wouldn't be too mad. It kept me from falling down. All right, that hurts. I'm hurt. What happened to the power of Grayskull? Skeletor never, like, actually did damage like this. So. Yeah, I don't well, like, attacked like, while he was posing. <laughs> yeah, this, I didn't plan that very well. <laughs> the power of Grey, bam! <laughs> <laughs> right, it doesn't matter. No, you just let me finish. Did it hit him right in the gut and he like folded in half? <laughs> Just like, oh, You're supposed to let me finish the phrase. Uh, vomit a little. <laughs> oh, wait till my next turn. Oh. With that, uh, as, as it comes to me, I'm just gonna kind of back up into this corner like, I don't like this. And then I'm just gonna say, by the power of Christ, compel you. And I'm gonna reach <laughs> out towards it. And hopefully it hits, yes. Uh, uh, you see a streak of blue lightning kind of like come out of my palm as I'm like, Satan be gone. Um, and how much? Did you do the aircraft? Jeep, 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 jeep. Just going up. The power of my patron compels you. Pretty sure you're not using Christ's power, Elena. Pretty sure that. Maybe Christ, patron, not what's whatever. Happening. Whatever it happens to be, I don't know. Jesus was behind Christ it the whole time. Is, Jesus. Then Christ is, is much different than he's portrayed by most people. <laughs> It'd be, I guess. I don't know. Um, beautiful. So is my then, tongue? No, my tongue's not green anymore, and I'm sad. Um, as you see my handout, you see that this 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 energy is just continuing. It's not letting up. It's it's just continuing to move, which is very interesting. Um, and it's surprising to even me. Because I've not actually hit with this before. And then, Chris, as this lightning continues to shoot out of my hands at this air creature, um, you find it is your chance to act. I got a quick question. When a spell uh, signifies a target as being a creature, would uh, Corey count as a creature? Yeah. Yes? People are, yeah. Well, you wanted oh, the power. That reminds me. You wanted uh, the power. I consider oh. Corey a creature. You wanted that the power of Grayskull, brother? Here's the oh, power no. of Grayskull. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to step on Elena's toes, but by the rules, humans oh, are oh, 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 oh. Enlarge on Corey. Oh, yeah. No, this would totally count. Sorry, Elena. But no, I was just okay. answering his question. No, it's um, fine. So you um, made me do it, huh? Yeah. That does so. remind me. Uh, bef right above the split second before Corey... <laughs> and this comical, like, video game-like... <laughs> does he, like, video game <laughs> evolve? It's yeah, it's 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 like, like it, 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 it's like in Mario where like you you hit like way too many power up mushrooms all at once and it's like, whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, right as right, right, right before that, right before does that a level up thing flash beside him? Oh yeah, definitely. It's like a. Whoop, 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 whoop. Thanks, brother. Uh, this should help. Right before we see that, because I forgot that I technically had the highest perception, um, or Arcana check. I shout out. I think this is a is an invisible stalker. It's an air elemental of some kind. It's a bad, bad elemental. I thought it was an elemental. Fuck I it up. <laughs> Let's fuck it up. Let's fuck it up. But that uh, that would be my that would be my turn. Okay. One d four extra damage. Mm. Nice. Bo, you feel like you have an opportunity to attack. <laughs> The opportunities. Let's see here. Let's see here. I don't have any magical stuff. 
Do you? Do you not have magical stuff? Aren't you a bard? Don't you have like a, a little nice little... I have little, questions. Uh, <laughs> you. you got that harp. Nice, nice little harp that you found downstairs? I do have a harp I found downstairs. I didn't write down what spells it has though. Let me look. It's, it uh, you has... should still be able to see the memo in, uh, yeah. in roll 20. Uh, stone shape, wall of fire, and wind wall are the ones that can do. That's what still... does stone shape do? I still I'm can't get past the idea of him playing okay, anyway. Right wind up. Wall. Do, do, do. Make me a stone wall large too, so I can just be this fucking. <laughs> Cast everything. <laughs> Make a mecha. You're gonna destroy Guys, the house. <laughs> this is probably not the final boss. Let's not drop everything we have onto for the funnies. It's gonna make me a juggernaut. It's gonna be fucking great. <laughs> I don't know. Fully really endorse that idea at the right point. <laughs> I'll just uh cure some of Corey's wounds because he looked like he was pretty hurt by that. Like it, like uh, it hurt him inside. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. He's thank not that he's, he's right in front of you. It's easily done. You just reach out and go boop. Bop for nice. you. And uh, encourage him. You can do it, man. Yeah. All right, go do the stuff. You take that inspiration die. Corey, right. I feel like you and Gax have an opportunity <laughs> to a tank. I've, I've been enlarged, I've been inspired, I've been healed. It's time you, to do some damage. Time to it's rest. Time. So hopefully this will be a situation that'll work out. I'm gonna swing my long my my long sword. And uh, do we have this guy flanked at all, or is there any way to get advantage on this situation? What's um, going on here? you don't have him flanked right Gaxi now. Gax is the advantage. Actually. Really? Action? You know, actually, you do have a plan because he had to come into you to slam you, um, and that, and now he is, yeah, he's flanked. So you, yeah, you have advantage to twenty-two. Well, even just to make it better, RP, I'll just let Gags take his action to, to kind of hassle him, okay. to assist me and give me advantage that way. Kind of jumps not... on the bed, kind of jumps on the bed, and is like, right yeah. There. So then I'm gonna, I'm gonna smite this guy. As Big well game. as, so I'm going to go ahead and slash him for eight. I'm going to pump a smite into it. And this is the plus one longsword you guys found downstairs too, right? Yeah, that's the calculated in there. Uh, so 16, and I'm just going to go ahead and add, I'll get another D4 of damage for being enlarged. Enlarged, yep. Yes, you do. Chris, a one. So 17 action on that. You? And then... Uh, that would be my turn. Can I write and not have dysgraphia pop up on me all of a sudden? Does not take him down to less than 20. Okay. You see, you feel like you've made a great hit on this thing. You can't see it? You just see swirling winds like dust getting picked up is really the only inkling you guys have that it's even there. It's the dust that as it swirls, it's picking up and carrying. Um, but you feel like you got a great hit on this bad book, bad man pajama. Nice. Okay. I want to do a shenanigan. That's my turn. You want to do a shenanigan? I want to do a shenanigan. Yeah. All right, let's see your shenanigan. So my lovely little friend, the teapot, is right up in the mix. Can we, like, he's underneath him and he's still fighting a lie. He didn't do anything last time, but I imagine he stayed there since nothing really happened. So he's, like, underneath the thing, just doing nonsense, little, little flailing. So I want to aim my flamethrower at my little teapot and wish for him to boil everything and do steam damage on him. Like, I want to aim my flamethrower so I hit him and my teapot. All right. Um, make your attack roll. Let's see if you can hit your teapot. I like it. I hate it. I don't think I hit my teapot. I don't think you hit your teapot. I think your teapot's armor class is a 14. Yeah, it is. I, I think I failed that, and I'm real sad. Unfortunately, it goes a little wide, and uh, you see a chair in the corner start to, like, smolder a little bit. Like, uh, it's like starting to catch fire a little bit. Like, it's not a full-on like 
fire you need to be worried about yet, but it is definitely starting to catch fire over there. It's gonna get a it's little on the warm. List. It's gonna get a little warm near Chris pretty soon. I fucked up. Hey, this thing's not undead, is it? It is not. I feel bad about that. And All right. my teapot can't really hurt it, so that's my turn. It still sees Corey as the biggest threat in the room. Ah, biggest. Like, literally. Corey, you got this. <laughs> Quite literally the largest, even though, and, and Corey did just do some pretty gnarly damage, so it's going to again come back and make two slam attacks. Does an 11 hit? No. Does a 21 hit? Yes. 11 bludgeoning damage. Woo! Ow! Ah, be, glad the 11, be, be glad the 11 didn't hit if it was 17. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling about five good right now. <laughs> All right, which brings it back to my turn. And without even even hesitating, I continue to pump this bolt of electricity out of my hand and do how many how many damage it? Oh, uh, nice, ooh. nice. I just continue to pulse this. Oh shit! There you go. This out of my hand and do. Whopping 22 lightning damage to this bad Mamba Jamba. You go, Warlock. It was both Mamba and Jamba, and that was not something we signed up for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allergic to both Mamba and Jamba. When you combine them, that's what that's when they, it's like epoxy. All right. With that, Chris, you find it is your turn to act. All right. Now, this, the, hit, the enlarged spell is a concentration, so that means I can't cast another spell, correct? You can cast another spell that's not concentration. It's not you concentration. Can't have, you can't have two concentration spells going at the same time. Well then, Chris is going to do Acid Splash. All right, Dex save. I like it. I like it's weird it playing ourselves. I was trying to remember Jade's character's name. Really. <laughs> it, it rolled exactly a 12. No. So it Dang. manages to like get out of the way, and you see the acid kind of fall where it it in your brain should have been and there's like little little acid pits pock marks on the floor underneath where this thing is now um before i end my turn then i'd like to move to own the bed in my turn okay. there it is going to take a mild opportunity attack at you nothing nothing too scary i hope i don't does know looking at his hits hit? he may be able to one shot me <laughs> does a 12 hit um, I believe that meets. Yeah, that meets. All right. Hold on. I think I can do something about that, though. I think I'm going to use... Let me see. Is it a reaction spell? No. Nope. Sorry, I was going to use Sanctuary. Wait, hold on. No, my... Because my AC... You have that armor now. So yeah, the shirt The shirt should be plus one, right? Yep. So then I'm actually at 13. Beautiful. Then it misses. It goes to, like... Slam into you as you pass, as you as you try and sneak around it, uh, right behind, slipping behind your brother. It goes to slam at you, and it kind of misses, and it and kind of like, kind of shoulders into the wall before kind of coming back to where it was. And you manage to sneak by unseen. I was close, brother. Stay back. This thing's no no joke. Bo, just, you now I, you now find yourself with a direct line of sight at this, no longer hi hiding behind one of your cohorts. It's your turn to act. Uh, let's see. Um, I didn't realize you were using me as a shield bow. I'm sorry. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. I I'm across the room, my man. I know. I knew it was happening there. I got you. That's what you get for hiding behind other people. Don't hide behind the glass cannon. Man. I'm a cure <laughs> wounds on Corey again, and thank you. <laughs> Easily done. Easily done. Is that your turn? As you pop out, give him a slap on the thigh because that's about. You got this. You can do it. You know, pat him on the head. Thank you. Your wounds and bardic inspire at the same time. Thank you, man. You fucking, you're a champ. And Corey, with that, with that, you feel empowered. So that your is it a six or a four for your uh, party? The six for his. Six. All right. 
So I'm gonna again just lash out. I'm gonna be like Gaxy, let's get him. I'm gonna like Gax, help me attack, so okay. I can get advantage if that works for you. That it does because you are no longer flanking. Uh, twenty-one. Oh, that is going to hit for sure. I'm gonna smite this asshole again. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give him one of these for the seven. I'm gonna give him a D4 action for because my bro pumped me up. So that's a nine. And I'm gonna smite. And you're gonna see the energy flow from my sword and shoot it flow right into him. And additional eight, nice. So we're looking at 17. Beautiful. This thing's Again. taking a lot of damage. Again, you have just been walloping on this creature. It is, it, I don't think it was expecting you guys to protect yourselves as strongly as you have. It is, it is irked, uh, and you do see some of the dust particles. It's, they're not swirling as heavily as they once were. Um, Jade, you feel like you have a chance to do some damage. Heard it. And to be treated as another threat. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to try and do the fire thing again with my little guy. I'm going to try again because, you know, there's okay. not enough property damage on this house yet. Oh, You're yeah. aggroing it? Nice. I, I want to hit it with the fire and then make the steam happen from my little teapot. It's it's a thing. Ag I want getting, that, getting that aggro off me. Fuck. Un unfortunately, again, you just can't seem to. It's so. I completely on. light that and that, same that chair, chair on fire. That same chair is just like fucking <laughs> chair. Like it was, it was, it was like catching, and now it is full on disco inferno over in the corner. That's fine. Hey, Go back to the spear. I'm helping. I'm <laughs> helping. Go back to the spear. Chair, that wall earlier you got in that chair, you're just getting these hidden enemies. <laughs> you, you just didn't know they were there. It's fine. It's a chair. You you, the chair. Oh, no, it's chair coming with an animated us. object the whole time, just holding action. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> yeah, well done. Uh, I fucking killed that point, chair. Uh, you kind of... Jade is this almost like bonus action, like wisp of air. You feel it just like non-committally say, <laughs> as it slams Cory, it slams into Cory two more times. Damn it! Uh, a sixteen. All right, hold on. So sixteen. If I use, bitch, I'm gonna make you regret that choice. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Sixteen hits. Four. Seven bludgeoning. Okay. And a twenty-one. Yeah. For eleven. Yeah, I fall. I fall down. Mm. Does that do anything to the enlarged spell? Does it go away, or is he still large as he falls? Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll read through it real quick. If you want to go ahead and do the, I guess your uh, your turn. It is important because the bigger I am, the harder I fall. <laughs> Let us not forget. So as Corey debatably either large or shrinking as he falls uh it kind of slips backwards towards the ground uh i'm just like uh guys 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 i don't like this and shoot out again and i will continue to hold my lightning bolt on it I think so. again 21 damage yeah are you uh, just shouting unlimited power the whole time i'm just like <laughs> hi unlimited power Tell him you're the Senate. <laughs> I deeply regret not having my phone right now. You could charge it for me, and that would be real handy. Yeah, I wish that were a thing, but we couldn't. I didn't. Yeah, I, I tried. It didn't work. You, you could always have a charged phone. Like, think about that. Think about that and dream, and then right. weep at the same time. And then Chris it, had it doesn't mention it doesn't okay. mention anything in the spell's description. So, so far, as what happens when the target goes unconscious. In a split twelve seconds. You see your brother fall enlarged to the ground, taking up a weird amount of space in what's between the bed and the wall. Like, his body shouldn't fit. It seems too large, but it, somehow he still falls. Uh, Dax is looking freaked out because Daddy just went down. And then you also see this bolt of lightning just continue to straight drizzle straight into this air. Dax would just be guarding my body at this when he sees me fall. I okay. want to pick up the blanket from the bed and attempt to throw it over the air elemental. Okay, make a make an acrobatics check. Acrobatics. Will if I 
warrior, wizard, acrobatic. I believe in you. I believe in you. I, I believe. I don't in strength. Oh, dang! <laughs> if I'd have had advantage. This, <laughs> as you as you throw this rug at it to try and grapple it, or at least make it easier to hold, you lose the end you were holding on to, and the carpet just goes flying past it. Actually, you know what? Let me double check something. Yep, it just goes flying past it, straight <laughs> into the inferno. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! We're Adding miss... carpet to the we're, fire. We're destroying Witch Bell's is... house. Twenty-five percent on fire now. The room is starting to get a little smoky though, because there was a lot of dust on that carpet, or I guess blanket. Yeah. And it's it's starting to get a little dusty in here, and it's actually starting to limit visibility. You feel like if this fire gets any bigger, you might have a disadvantage on any melee attacks. Hmm. I can try and do something. That's about that. that that is my turn though. All right, Bo. You feel like you have a um, chance. Um. Um. I'm gonna get Corey up. I, I dig that. Yeah, yeah, I dig that. Yes. I dig that big time. Ooh, and that's a clutch. You kind of like come, kind of step out of the doorway and lean down and grab Corey's ankle. And as you do, there's this pulse of light that kind of comes from your hand um, and fills Corey with what feels like 11 points of healing. Nice. Ah, ah. Woo. Thanks again. Damn. Coming in clutch, too, because Corey, unless Bo would like to use his bonus action. It might be your chance to stand up. Yeah, I would her. like to tell Jade to. Maybe not miss next time with that uh that flamethrower she's using. Oh, Jade, that's one point of psychic damage while you take oh. that <laughs> for that savage burn. I deserve it. I'm a failure. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe my tears will put out the fire of my failure. Save for after combat. Save Why for is after Jade combat. Crying. What happened? Great, you de-inspired her, Bo. <laughs> <laughs> You've been uninspired. You uninspired. Do the D6 on your next roll. Um, all right. So, is my turn? My go? It is your turn. You are Oh, you done? Thank you, Bo. Yep. Uh, so, Gax, let's get him. So, I want Gax to help me attack. And I'm going to okay. swing this glowing sword of Grayskull. I am a paladin of Grayskull, a 20. That is definitely uh, going to hit. By slash plus three, so it's eight. And then I've got one more. Uh, don't even, because as you slash, before you can even feel this pulse of energy come through your arm, you suddenly feel the wind just dissipate. And now you're left with the firing inferno in the corner. Put it out, put it out. Can I immediately send my teapot over and be like, Teapot, spill your guts. Make it your does, mama pride. It doesn't do much. It, it distinguishes it a little bit, but it's still a, a teapot worth of water and fire. Loot the room real well, quick and let's get out. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what if we care too much about this fire, do we? Uh, I mean, I'm going to go over there with my bag and just start smothering the fire by, like, beating on it. Okay. Um... I'm gonna like drop we... down and stop, drop and roll on top of the fire. <laughs> I'd say, yeah. Uh, knowing basic fire safety, if you try and smother a fire for long enough, if it's not uh, fueled by outside forces like grease or oil, um, it it will eventually go out. Um, you take a roll me a roll me two d six. This was probably not my best decision, but whatever. You take six points of fire damage as you as you do successfully put out the fire. Hey, are you all right? You look a it's little fine. It's fine. It's what a hero would do. I pat her <laughs> on the shoulder and lay on the hands and heal her. I have no. I don't deserve this. Heroes put out their own fire. I just heal her for five, so you still have one damage, one scorch of um, embarrassment to just remind. I take some ash and I paint my face with it like war paint. I never forgive, never forget. <laughs> <laughs> you did um, the fire to yourself, though. It's, it's, it's what I deserve. It's, 
I I'm, should know better fire safety. I learned on my mother's knee. She, if she was here, she would be a fire druid. <laughs> Not even joking about that one. My mom loves fire with an unholy light. Fire's <laughs> awesome. I just, I, I just missed the Lord. Like all, all over my body and tattoos in various places. So you do feel like you are now out of initiative. Um, you feel like you now have a chance if you want to take a look around this room, around the sitting room next door. Well, you were actually still in the room, so now you can see that there is a wardrobe on this wall right here um, near the bathroom, but across from that is another desk with some papers attached attached on, on top of the desk. <laughs> Someone who can actually investigate things should go take a look because I have the worst investigate roles. I'll take Cons a gander at it. I got a three bonus to that. Ooh, that sucks really bad. You're not paying enough attention. Let me help. Corey, you see this really <laughs> nice chamber pot in the bathroom, and <laughs> that chamber pot, Corey, looks like it could do you some good. You might have to pee a little bit. You're not really sure. Hey, I'll it's be back in a second, y'all. Wait, <laughs> never mind. I'm dreaming. I'm not going to pee. Caught it. Yeah, don't do Ooh. it. <laughs> Close, y'all. Close. I'm gonna almost, go to the I sink almost and had you. Pot. I almost had you so much. Chris, are you looking at the desk or the wardrobe? Yeah, you the, really the almost got me. That was, that you're was looking cool. at the desk. The desk. Okay. Um, so as you're rum rummaging through, you're you're looking through the papers. You're looking through the drawers. In the drawers, you do find two potions of greater healing, and two potions of superior healing. Superior. Um, I'm gonna give. Bro, why are you wasting? Why are you wasting your time with that desk, man? Come check out the peapot. I'm, I'm, holding, I'm holding up the the healing the healing potions. Oh um, uh, yeah, I could probably use one of those. Um, that's actually then, gonna give one superior and one. Uh, what was it, the only one greater to you? And I'm gonna give one superior and one greater to Jade. Y'all are our okay, front line. Good. I think y'all need those more than we do. So what do they heal? Um, so superior, I, I'll show you the, I will show you what they do. You put it on my so, sheet for me? That's nice. So superior is going to do 8d4 plus 8. Ooh. Ooh. And, and greater healing is 44 plus 4. 8d4 plus 8. Chris, as you're, as you're passing these out, you turn back to the desk and out of the corner of your eye, you see another, what looks like torn piece of that journal. Because downstairs you found that page that also looked like it was ripped out of the journal. And it, it the, the, the paper looks familiar. It's distinct. And as you do, you find this interesting journal entry. If you would like, you can read it aloud or you can have me read it aloud for you. I might need you to resend it to me. I think I closed it when I was closing out of the potions. There we go. I finally completed the summoning circle in the abandoned oh. fortress. It should let me summon an endless supply of souls to increase my power and immortality. Mm. While my heart is saddened at the loss of my dearest, is that Lisa? 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 Lisa. Lisa and Sally, I'm comforted in knowing that they will ensure I live forever. I have discovered that the circle will bring the creatures directly to my lair, where I shall greet them with death and damnation. Upon transportation, oh god, upon transportation to the circle at the fortress, a brief incantation will convert their souls into my life force. However, I have not yet found a way to close the circle. Should they break free from my grasp somehow, they will find themselves there. Uh, oh, and find themselves there. They will be able to escape my grasp. The town seems to be increasing their patrols. I will make sure that my guardian roams the forest to destroy any who try to keep me from my legacy. As such, I have increased the protections on my estate and posted sentries at the fortress. Should, uh, shall they forever protect my treasures? This guy is fucking with shit he knows he can't control. Okay, I, I think I want to say I'm pretty sure this isn't the fortress. Do no, we have to go through the forest? I don't want to go through the forest. Well, also... Like I also, we're a little bit fucked, I think. I think we're solid. I don't like this at all. This is bad. Like, were we something he summoned that he tried to do life force things about us and failed? That's a concern. So maybe your patron's not some kind of spirit. Maybe it's this dude. Yeah, it's probably this guy. I was thinking that earlier. Or your story, the spirit was using you to keep up this guy's deal. I don't like this. I don't or, want to talk to it now. I'm not going to talk to it now. I think that's something. That's bad. I'm not doing. I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I don't like this. Um. All oh, right. Was 
Does my else... 16, do I find anything in the wardrobe? In fact, you do. find a lion and you a witch. Find these two inter- you do find, you find the secret tunnel to Narnia. Uh, TMTM, TM, not mine. Uh, don't own it, don't sue me. Okay, uh, this is dark. But you do actually find two interesting robe-looking things. One is kind of a dark blue, and it's got a little shield pin and a hood. It's very pretty to look at. Um, Chris, with a brief perusal of your of of your uh, of, of your magical guide that you brought with you, I can't remember. You find that this is in fact a cloak of protection. Hey guys, that is a cloak of protection. I show I mean, him the picture in the book. Straight up. The other is this beautiful, elegant garment. It's it's this beautiful gray cloth. It's got silvery runes embroidered all along it. Um, and in perusing, this does actually look to be the robe of the arch magi. Magi. Yeah, no, I toss that over to between. Oh no, that's straight up to you, my friend, Chris. Chris, this oh. looks like your kind of jam. You get to look like a real wizard now. Balls. <laughs> I'm excited um, for you. You know, if you're going to wear that, can I have your armor? Yeah, all yours. Okay, okay thanks. Thanks. You do get mithril now. No. So now my AC is 17. That is dope. 17? Holy shit, man. Well, it looks like you're going out front. Uh, no, thank four. you. <laughs> well, I've got a 14 AC and I keep getting my ass kicked. I mean, it'd be hard for them to hit me, but if they do, I am annihilated. This is the weakest I've ever felt something, in my life. Something. Corey, Corey, you can have the cloak. It's armor. How much armor? One. That would be something. Thanks. The cloak of protection does, does allow a plus one to AC and, uh... And saving throws. And, yeah, plus one to AC and plus one to saving throws. I really need to find myself a damn shield, but this will be good. Thank you. That's right, because Jay, Jay, you took the shield from the... Took the shield. From the, from the of protection is what now? Plus one to AC. Yeah. And saving throws. All saving throws? Just says saving throws. Yeah, all saving throws. It's a plus one for all saving throws. Wow. Nice. All right. Swizzle. We got a 15 now. As the other frontline person, you need to have a better AC than that. I mean, yeah. I need, yeah, a, I need a shield. I, I mean, mean, keep it, keep your eyes open for a shield. We need to find. We'll find another one. Well, like, what does this room look like again? I mean, there's a wooden chair. There's like a few wooden chairs in here. Yeah, there are, you, if, if you wanted to take 20 minutes, Jay. You want to. With your cosplay experience, you could easily hack some of these chairs apart. There is still one wooden chair that is fully intact in the bedroom, and then one chair that's fully intact in the. Uh, yeah, in if the, I can borrow your sword because the spear isn't good for this, I'm just gonna hack one and then like I pull some belts out of the rest of the closet because belts will last longer, and I make you a sweet little buckler real quick. I give you my sword and my dagger. You might be able. To- yeah, yeah. Ooh, thanks, thanks. That'll really help. Um, I want to say I grabbed one of those chairs with like the fancy knobs at the top of it. Mm-hmm. So like he's got weird knob things on the top yeah, of his field, and it's, it. it's all fancy and like, and, and there's still the cushion on the front of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Like, oh, yeah. I, I'd have put the cushion on the back, you know. So. No, no, this is great. He can smother someone as well. Well, now he can't it. shield bash. If you shield bash, you're like, oh, that's nice. Thanks. And you imagine, I, 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 I imagine you take some of the cloth strips from like the curtains, you just rip some of that off to make it like. I, I, I flip it around. There's like some ornate woodwork on the one side and like the cloth yeah. padding on the other. It's like a real nice shield thing. Yeah, I dig it. I dig it. So, Corey, you now find yourself uh, in, in, in possession of a nice, pretty wooden shield. Damn, thanks. That's, that's a fucking handy skill, yo. Yeah, so, how, many, nice. how much AC is that shield going to give me? This wood is going to give you an extra two AC. Sweet. Yeah. All right. Thanks for, is... thanks for reminding me that you needed a shield because I just straight up forgot. Yeah, I mean, if we're tanking, then I need to fucking. Yeah. If you're going to tank with me, we need to right. So we're good now. Should be should be pretty solid at this point. I, I mean, I feel like I, I want to get a little more powerful 
Like, I want to get up to a four. Like, that could help. <laughs> like, like a level four? Like something kind of like that, yeah. Like On a, a scale like from a one to 20, I feel like I'm at a three. I'd like yeah, to be at a four. Three. All right, okay. So if we think logistically, though, <laughs> we, I mean, we play D&D. &D, we know how it works. If we want to get stronger, we have to we got, I got to go fight some shit. And this is the only room in this house that we can find that we haven't explored. So if we want to fight more shit, we... I got to get with the boat to say this. Yeah, uh, yeah. Apparently we need to keep checking scouting out the area. We gotta go into the forest. I don't like. Mm, is there is there a basement? Have we not found it? If there was a basement, you guys have not rolled high enough to find it. We distinctly know there are monsters in the forest, so we gotta go out there and get absolutely assaulted by something in a dark forest. Correction: There is a quote unquote guardian in the forest. Oh, oh, you're right. The guardian. That's. So much more yeah, it's, better it's, and threatening and so good. I don't think we're gonna run into rodents of unusual size. I think we're more than likely to roll into a, a golem. So what do we so what do we think? Um bear abomination or wolf abomination? I've got money on it, like I got fifty fifty oh, we're odds. Starting a pool? I'm putting some money. I'm put I'm starting a pool. I'm going with construct. I've got, construct? I've got five dollars on construct. Are we betting money on this? Because I, 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 I don't have money. money. I don't have no money here. I've got a I've got my bait. And I've got my can of soda. Um, one I was empty glass. Like hypothetical money. <laughs> well, just we're doing this for pure, the most purest of money, the greatest of victories, bragging rights. Hmm. We talking about what's waiting for us at the end of this thing? Like, the, the guardian in the woods. I think it's either a bear or a wolf. Do it's not so fucking say skunk to me. I just had one of those. Got dogs. My roommate's dogs got sprayed by them. So, I am glad to be in Dream World because no skunk. Based on the letters, though, isn't it like some kind of abomination? Like the no, word no, used thinking, was guardian. It's a skunk abomination with twelve stink sacks. I mean, it could be like some kind of possessed thing or like a summoned creature from the other planes. But I'm thinking, like the base of it, it looks like a wolf or it looks like a bear. I think it has animal features. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe like if they're feeling like fancy, it's like an elk with like fifty thousand. Like twelve birds. zombies sewed together. No oh, idea. oh, like a rat king except for zombie. A zomball, well, as I like take, to call them. Can we take a, a break? Uh, can we do a break? Is this a good break time? Do you want to take like a, a five minute break? Is this a good time? Or... I feel like yeah. this is the right time. We just got here, so. Yeah. Cool, cool. I'll cue us up for a five minute break. Long.